everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. Freethoughtproject.com has a fascinating article. Scientists warn chemotherapy could spread cancer, trigger more aggressive tumors. That's right. See, a new study showing that chemotherapy can cause malignant cancer cells to spread throughout the body uh, that increases the risk of fatality from the disease. This is exactly what I've been saying for a very, very long time now. How on earth, and this is just one of those questions that you throw out there, but how on earth do we treat cancer with something that causes cancer? And of course, you know, the response will be, well, everything's carcinogenic, meh. But that's no, no, no. Radiation, radiation causes our cells to mutate, which causes cancer. Um, this has happened for a very long time, but since the advent of nuclear power, we've really come to understand the risks and the warnings and the damage, the damage that can be done from being exposed to radiation, let alone injecting it into your body. Unbelievable. It says here, chemotherapy can increase the aggressive nature of cancer, causing malignant cells to migrate and trigger more dangerous tumors, thereby also increasing the disease's fatality. This is according to researchers here in the United States. Patients with breast cancer who opt for chemotherapy as treatment actually face a risk of uh, medita- metastasis, according to a new study, as science reports this, quote, the blood vessels of patients receiving chemotherapy drugs have more entry points through which cancer cells can get into the blood flow and disperse throughout the body. Unbelievable. Scientists report today in, in uh, the journal that they reported it in was Science Translational Medicine. It says in mice with breast cancer, chemotherapy shrinks the primary tumor, but boosts the number of cancer cells in the lungs and circulating throughout the body. So what this says is that while you may have isolated breast cancer, you know, it's in the breast, they treat it with chemotherapy, now your risk isn't a reoccurrence of breast cancer, it's a reoccurrence of cancer all over your body because you've spread it everywhere. It says, although it appears chemo effectively shrinks the primary tumors, the treatment ultimately triggers the spread of malignant cells, causing cancer to act aggressively and often lead to the patient's death. You know, it's interesting when you take a look at how many cases of documented cancer there was at the turn of the 20th century per year to today, the numbers are astronomically higher today than they were back then. Some people say it was because things were underreported, uh, technology wasn't advanced enough to identify all the different cancers that we have, yada, yada, yada. I don't agree. I think our environment has certainly changed, changed for the worst because since that time, we've seen the deployment of toxic pesticides. We've seen vaccines wreak havoc on uh, the populace. We've seen radiation increase dramatically, whether it be through nuclear power and the fact that we don't maintain these plants like we should and we have no place to put the spent fuel. And that radiates us to um, RF just saturating ourselves in radio frequency all the time with the um, just the explosion in wireless devices. And I could go on and on as to why cancer has really just gone out of control. And this, of course, is a huge boom for the uh, pharmaceutical industry who profits handsomely from chemotherapy. Uh, all the while, you know, it gives industry a place to take some of their toxic stuff big pharma gets it they put it in the medicine and then they uh, inject you with it i mean this is just unbelievable i can't believe that people just so blindly trust their doctors that they're willing to and and doctors too doctors are so blind when it comes to questioning big pharma you know and i guess because they they benefit from it handsomely I don't know what the solution is, but I can tell you injecting yourself with chemicals like chemotherapy is certainly not going to solve your issues. In the long run, it will definitely kill you. So 
my thing, God gave us a natural cure for everything on this planet. And there has been a lot of success with cannabis in the anti-cancer realm, as well as a vitamin B17. And keep your body pH. Cut down on the sugar. These are things that you can do that will prevent cancer and actually give you a fighting chance at life. And it doesn't work in all cases. Sometimes cancer is very aggressive. But I would definitely opt to go the holistic route. Personally, vice going down the radioactive route because I don't know. I just, I cannot in my head justify taking radioactive chemicals and putting them in my, in my veins. No, no bueno. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the daily sheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at the daily sheeple.com. Have a great day.